um, if a building is more than 50% damage, they would be required to uh, fill in any below grade spaces. Um, that's illustrated in the upper right corner there. So uh, you fill in the below, below grade space, you, you don't have enough headroom to keep the parking. We don't see a lot of people doing this voluntarily, but if the building is more than 50% damaged or more than 50% improved, they'll be required to uh, fill in any below grade space and uh, they would lose the parking. So we wanted to build in as much flexibility as possible to keep the parking, the, that off-street parking, on site. So we allowed parking where it's not ordinarily allowed in terms of zoning if you're in this situation where you're retrofitting a building. Uh, and we also allowed the commissioner buildings to waive all parking requirements where there's no feasible way to provide parking. So again, this is not a pathway we think people will voluntarily choose, but if they're in a situation uh, where their building is more than 50% damaged or more than 50% approved, this this prevents what basically they would have to knock down the whole building and rebuild in order to provide the required parking. 